Hi everyone! Sa video na ito ay ituturo ko sa inyo kung ano ang quadratic inequality. Ano nga ba ang quadratic inequality? A quadratic inequality in one variable is an inequality that contains polynomial whose highest exponent is 2. The general forms are the following where a, b, and c are real numbers with a is greater than 0 and a is not equal to 0. Bakit mahalaga na ang a is not equal to 0? Kasi kapag naging 0 ang a, 0 na ang quadratic term. So kapag magiging 0 to, magiging linear inequality na siya. Para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan, just keep on watching. Hello mga anak shis! Welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures, or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Good day everyone! Upang mas lalo nating maintindihan kung ano ba ang quadratic inequality, mag-determine tayo kung quadratic inequality or not ba ang mga given examples. Na-define natin kanina ang quadratic inequality. May dalawang bagay na kailangan nating i-check para malaman natin kung quadratic inequality. Quadratic meaning ang highest exponent niya dapat ay 2. Inequality, ibig sabihin ang mga symbols dapat ay greater than, less than, greater than or equal to at less than or equal to hindi siya pwedeng maging equal kasi nga inequality ibig sabihin hindi siya equal okay number 1 3x squared minus 6x plus 3 meron tayong highest exponent na 2 pero wala tayong inequality symbol ibig sabihin this is not a quadratic inequality number 2 x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Ang highest exponent niya ay 2, pero ang kanyang symbol ay equals. Ibig sabihin, this is not a quadratic inequality dahil ito ay example ng quadratic equation. Number 3, x minus 3x plus 9 is greater than 0. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ang highest exponent nito ay 1. Ibig sabihin, this is not a quadratic inequality at ito ay example ng linear inequality dahil ang highest exponent niya ay 1. Number 4, x squared minus 8x minus 16 is less than or equal to 0. I-check natin kung ang highest exponent niya ba ay 2? Yes. May inequality symbol ba siya? Yes. Ibig sabihin, this is a quadratic inequality. Number 5, the quantity of x minus 5 times the quantity of x minus 1 is greater than 0. Kung mapapansin ninyo, walang degree of polynomial 2, pero merong parenthesis. So, kailangan natin isimplify para malaman natin kung ano ba ang product ng binomial na to. So, using the FOIL method, x minus 5 times x minus 1, gamitin natin yung FOIL method. F stands for first X times X So X times X is equal to X squared O stands for outer or yung mga nasa labas So X times negative 1 is equal to negative X Yung I naman stands for inner yung mga nasa loob So negative 5 times X is equal to negative 5X At ang L naman stands for last term So yung mga last term dito ay yung negative 1 at negative 5 so, negative 5 times negative 1 is equal to positive 5. Combine like terms, x squared, ang magkaparehong term ay yung negative x minus 5x. Magkapareho ng sign, ibig sabihin, i-add natin sila. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, then copy the sign, then x plus 5. So, ang magiging value nito ay x squared minus 6x plus 5 is greater than 0. Check natin kung may degree of polynomial 2. Meron. May inequality symbol ba? Meron. Ibig sabihin, this is a quadratic inequality. Number 6, 3x plus 20 is greater than or equal to 0. 
Dito naman, meron tayong inequality symbol, pero ang highest exponent niya ay 1. Big sabihin ito ay linear inequality at hindi ito quadratic inequality. Number 7, x squared minus 10x is less than 3. Okay, so dito, hindi siya naka-standard form. So, ililipat natin si positive 3 dun sa kabila para maging standard form. So, x squared minus 10x, yung positive 3 magiging negative 3 is less than 0. So, ito ba ay may degree of polynomial 2? Meron. May inequality symbol ba? Meron. So, ibig sabihin, this is a quadratic inequality. Number 8, the quantity of 4x squared minus 9 plus 2x plus 3. Kung may mga parenthesis na ganyan, i-combine muna natin yung mga common terms. So, unahin natin yung 4x squared, then yung 2x, then negative 9 plus 3, magkaiba ng sign, ibig sabihin i-subtract natin yung absolute value. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6, then copy the sign of the greater number that is negative, kaya negative 6 ang sagot is greater than or equal to 0. Ngayon, i-check natin kung may degree of polynomial 2. Meron. May inequality symbol ba? Meron. Ibig sabihin, this is a quadratic inequality. Number 9, 3x squared minus 2x is greater than 15 plus 3x squared. So, ito hindi siya naka-standard form. Gawin natin its standard form ito. So, inahin natin to 3x squared then, may 3x squared dito sa kabila. So, ililipat natin magiging negative 3x squared. Next is negative 2x. Then, yung positive 15, ililipat natin doon. Mag-change ng sign magiging negative 15 is greater than 0. Combine like terms. So, negative 3x squared minus 3x. Makakancel na yan. So, ibig sabihin... Ang matitira lang ay negative 2x minus 15 is greater than 0. Meron bang degree of polynomial 2? Wala. Ang highest exponent nito ay 1. Ibig sabihin, this is not quadratic inequality dahil ang highest exponent na niya ay 1. So, this is a linear inequality. Number 10, 4x cubed plus 2x is greater than 0. Ang highest exponent nito ay 3. Ibig sabihin, this is not a quadratic inequality. Okay?